Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I put up a little Instagram like question thing the other day and a lot of people said that they wanted to see like a day in the life vlog. Like I pretty much did this like a couple, like two weeks ago. But sure I'll do another one. Um, I haven't really got that much planned today but we'll see what we can make of it. I'm literally just up. It's two o'clock. Okay, actually, I woke up like an hour ago, but I haven't managed to get out of bed yet. So technically, I'm just up. I'm um, I'm gonna go and get a shower because I'm actually a greasy bitch. Can we please just talk about my roots? Like they have never been this bad before. Like I've ha let them grow out, but not this bad. I cannot wait to get my hair done. Like it's actually stressing me out now. It's gonna take me like two times to get back to my normal like silver color, but I'm excited for it. Today is like the most exciting day of lockdown as well. Actually, probably the most exciting day of my life. So the Chinese that we always get from reopens tonight. We get from it so often that they have let me and my sister like pre-order and half an hour before it opens so that we like are guaranteed an order because like it'll be so busy and we probably won't be able to like get one if we like phoned when it was open because like everyone's gonna want one because it's literally the best Chinese in the world. So yeah, um, they've let us pre-order. <laughs> we get far too many Chinese's but I have not had one in like six weeks and that has killed me. Like I don't know how I've done it. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a shower and then I, I might put on some makeup today and like a nice wee outfit, you know, cause it's Chinese day and that's just so exciting. Out of the shower, there's still pink in my hair. Like it's starting to go back blonde, which is good, but like there's still pink in it. Like how, how many more washes am I gonna have to do before it comes out? It's stressing me, it's stressing me out. Excuse the state of me, obviously I just out of the shower, as you know, but um, I'm about to wash my, wash my teeth, brush my teeth. Um, but like so many people have asked me, do I use any like, teeth whitening stuff and I do I use the high smile um teeth whitening kit and it's like the light I'll I'll maybe do it today and I'll show you this in the in the vlog but I also use oh my god this is actually like being like crushed I also use the high style day and night toothpaste so the white one is for the day and the black one is for the night and I think they've actually really helped I'll show you this after I brush my teeth because they probably don't look very white right now because <laughs> I haven't even brushed them yet this is the um high smile like light and you just literally put it in your mouth you put like the gel around the, this wee bit and then you put it in your mouth and you turn the light on see see like that but I'm not actually gonna do it because oh my god I can't get it to turn off I'm not actually gonna do it because you're supposed to do it for like five or six days like in a row and obviously it's actually not it's quite expensive so like I don't really want to keep buying them and like I'm, there's no point in wiping my teeth whenever I literally can't go anywhere and no one can see me so yeah I'm not gonna do it like now I'm gonna start it again like whenever I have more insight on when we can leave the house again so yeah that's just basically what it is that's all i do with my teeth like brush them with the high smile day and night toothpaste and use that as well does anyone else lose like half a hair ahead whenever they brush their hair when it's wet like look at that like that just fell out like i lose so much hair when i brush my hair okay so i have lost my tripod i have no idea where it is so you're actually balanced in a candle right now and that's why i use our like angles like to the side but you know what it's gonna have to do i really want to know where i put it yeah, everything I do from here in until like I'm done getting ready will probably be sideways but you're just gonna have to deal with it because we have no tripod. I think I might go for a walk today because it's actually really really warm but I actually had like a I thought maybe should I bring my dog but the thought of getting that thing into a lead. I wish you could walk your cats because I would literally like I love my cats so I would just literally loved for them to get on a lead but i think if i put my like my white cat the one that had a kitten in my last video which i'll show you it's getting quite big um i think if i put it on a lead it would attack me it is the most angriest thing in the world like it would probably murder you okay well i'm gonna go dry my hair and straighten my hair and probably not put any makeup on because i just like to be ugly and then i'm gonna go and make breakfast because i still haven't eaten and it's literally like three o'clock so I know I said I wasn't going to put makeup on, but then I was on FaceTime to Aaron and um, he basically told me that I was ugly without makeup, so I needed it. Okay, yeah, he's going to kill me for that. That is not really, not really true, but kind of true. He basically said that and then he was like, that's not what I meant, but I'm going to take it like that because that's how I think he meant it. <laughs> I'm such a psycho. <laughs> but yeah, now that I've actually done it, I feel a lot better about myself because I'm like, right, I feel productive. I just got up and did my makeup color difference i love it i'm gonna try and find an outfit here and try and like dress sort of nice and then i'm gonna go for a walk i was i was gonna make breakfast right but i might just have like a small snack because we're getting our chinese at like half four or five and right now it is oh my god it's quarter to four so like did i go for my walk after the chinese 
Oh, I have no idea. No, I'll go for the walk now until like half four and then I'll go and text my Chinese, which is pre-ordered. <laughs> okay, so I had to wear a jacket because the colour difference between my arms and my face is actually shocking. But yeah, I'm going to go do our on my walk now. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring the dog too, but she's actually so aggressive, so she might kill someone. So it's your fault, honestly, if she does, not mine. It feels so good to be clean again because I was a dirty bitch for the last like week. Okay, not a week. I actually have showered, but like not for like three days there. Because <laughs> I'm dirt. Honestly, the shape of her, like, that's crazy. You can't even see the kitten. It's way in there. But it's got a lot bigger. Hi. <laughs> so she keeps hiding the kitten. So like I have to keep putting her um bed underneath the table so that like they're like boxed off because she hid it the other day in my washing basket underneath my washing i was walking about this house for like 40 minutes looking for the cat and i couldn't find it okay so we have two dogs but i'm not actually we're not allowed to bring them in walks together because they like kill people and like they kill each other and they they're just honestly like adhd so i'm gonna have to choose one and i'm gonna choose the more adhd one but he's like better to walk because the other one like growls at people as they walk past and like if they see another dog <laughs> Here we have like, like, are we choice of leads? So dude, this one's like so like glam, I love it. So I'm gonna go for this one. I'm really sure I'm supposed to put like a harness on him because he gets off the lead easily, but I don't feel like touching him for that long. So if he gets off the lead, we're just gonna have to say goodbye to him because I honestly am not spending all that time putting a harness on him. Do it! <laughs> Sit! <laughs> Oscar! <laughs> right, come here, come here. Oh my God, sit down. Oh my god, he doesn't have a collar on. He won't sit still and he won't stop trying to lick me. And my phobia in life is dogs trying to lick me. I hate dogs. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> He's so difficult. I can't even get the collar on him because he just won't stop jumping. Right, I shouted at him. So I'm hoping, Oscar, stop licking me. You're disgusting. <laughs> right, I got it on. I got it on. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Right, please don't lick me. This is actually terrible. Please don't lick me. Oscar! Oh, mommy, stop! Oscar, stop. Right, I've nearly got it, I've nearly got it. <laughs> he's definitely getting off this. He's definitely gonna get off this lead because he literally is like, he's walking me more than I'm walking him. <laughs> Listen to him, stop walking so fast if you don't want me to choke you. This is so much more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, but he has stopped to like fake pee. He's not even peeing. But like he stopped to like pee about seven times and we haven't even made it out of my street yet. Oh my god, the noises of this dog. Can you hear him? Okay, no, he stopped whenever I did that. But like, he's just, I think he's gonna die. He's actually gonna die. We've walked to the top of the street and he's so out of breath. I think I'm gonna have to lift him for the rest. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do until my Chinese. My Chinese is right beside my sister's house. So I might go to her house and like see her dog and like, oh my god, there's, oh my god, there's a bee. I'm scared. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go up to hers. I think here I might drive up because I'm gonna get the Chinese soon anyway and I'm collecting it from beside her house so I may as well just go over and like socially distance myself outside her house and like probably like stand outside her front door because like she won't let me in. But sure. Well, I'm back. It's probably the last interaction I'll ever have with that dog before um, it dies. But I honestly am not that annoyed about that because Jesus, that took, me, took it out of me and he's just so hard to handle and I just, I'm never having kids if they're like that. Okay, so yeah, um, Shannon said I can come, so I'm gonna go see Shannon. Um, I actually meant to say to you earlier, so last night I was on FaceTime to Aaron and, and basically his birthday is next Sunday and I had done so well not to tell him what his present was, right? And then last night I accidentally like slipped up on like the genre of the present, like it's an item of clothing and he, I told him, I, like I didn't mean to, because I was scared it wasn't going to be here in time and then I got like an, an email to say that it is going to be here in time so I was like oh my god your present's going to be here and then he said like what if it isn't and I was like then you're not getting here and then the present and you know he like basically he doesn't know what it is to be fair he thinks he does but he doesn't but like he knows like what kind of present it is now I'm fuming. <laughs> so bad at keeping presents a secret. I told him his Christmas present three weeks before Christmas. It's half four! <laughs> okay, so just out of Shannon's. Turns out the Chinese is delivering. Didn't know, so I'm gonna go home. The Chinese is literally on its way. Said it would be about 40 minutes and I ordered it at half four. It's now 
five to five so like that's not that long i have oh i'm so excited so yeah i really do need to go otherwise i'm gonna miss it so yeah gonna go and get my chinese and i will show you all the most beautiful chinese ever okay well i'm just home and it still isn't here so um I'm just gonna rant for a wee minute. I hate bikers and people that walk on the road. There is a footpath for a reason. If you're one of those people, I hate you. Jokes, I don't. But like, no I do, I really do. I can't even deny that. Like, I was driving at like literally like 20 miles an hour behind some biker down a 40. Like, hurry up, get on the footpath. Like, if I was riding a bike, I would be on the footpath. Like it's just, oh, it, it pisses me off so much. So yeah, please, if you live in Lisburn and you ride a bike, stay on the footpath or I will run you over. <laughs> Jokes. I was thinking, after I eat this Chinese, what am I gonna do? Because usually I would just get back into bed and um, watch, I finished Gossip Girl. Oh my God, really upset about it. But I started Desperate Housewives on Amazon Prime. Guys, oh my god, like my mom and all, like my sisters used to watch it whenever I was younger and they never let me watch it, like they used to always make me go to bed because I was too young and oh my god, I just started it and it is actually so, so good, like I really love it. Seeing as I have makeup on actually, after I get my dinner, I might like just top myself up and then I might get some photos, I don't know if I'll do them outside or I'll do them in here. I'm, I'm loving a good mirror photo at the minute but I don't have any tan on, like I'm like pure, proper white, look at them legs, so I don't know, yeah, we'll try and get some Instagram photos after because... I feel like I'm like so, like all I'm doing on my Instagram at the minute is throwbacks and I hate that, like I hate doing a throwback. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get some nice photos and maybe post a photo. Still waiting on the Chinese to come, so while I do that, I'm gonna feed my children, aka the cats. She is clearly starving, I haven't even got it all out. There's so much litter on the floor, right? So obviously I have a litter tray for her. Right, okay, let me put it out. Um, so that she can go to the toilet, obviously that's what a litter tray is. And um, she basically like, kicked it all over the floor one night and I, I can't get it all up and now every time she uses it which to be fair she hasn't really used it that often because i just put her out like every once in a while and um, every time now she uses it she kicks it all over the floor so there's just litter everywhere so i'm just sick of cleaning it up now i'm like nah so this is a good opportunity while she's away from the cat to show you the kitten and the size of it now it's so cute no <laughs> it's massive now still loki looks like a rat but it's still so cute and i love it is anyone else like really praying like obviously boris johnson's doing like his big talk on sunday which was supposed to be today how nice would that have been um but yeah he's doing it on sunday like i really really hope that he says he's gonna ease the lockdown but like apparently scotland or something like extended theirs today i really hope we don't get it extended because i physically cannot go through another three weeks of like living like this like even just this tiniest bit eased i would be happy enough like being able to go somewhere anywhere or even like being able to see more people like the rest of my family or like my friends like it's killing me this is the face of a girl who's starting to get extremely impatient with the chinese people okay so i uh while we wait we may as well take some photos so i have like my mirrors here they're like sliding mirrors i'll put it there so you can kind of see but yeah basically i'm just gonna try and take some pics for instagram and like loads of people are doing like we mirror pics at the minute so like i'm gonna just try and do some mirror pics <laughs> all right i actually did get some that are like like I wouldn't even say decent, I think that they're like okay, but I'm just gonna post them anyway, I'll show you them now. Okay, so I just posted them, I captioned it, swipe to see my reaction to the Chinese opening today because, as I said before, this day is all about the Chinese. <laughs> I just got a message! Oh my god, so my sister just sent me this message, I'm not even gonna show you her because she's in it, but it says it's here. And oh, she sent a photo of it. So yeah, I gotta go. I'll show you what I got. I'm so excited. Ah! Neve is literally taking her time to dish it out. I'm not allowed to touch their plates in this house. Look at that. Yay! And apple tea. <laughs> I have never been this happy before in all of my life. Oh my god, that was honestly the best thing that has ever happened to me this is probably the happiest moment of my life well it was when i was eating it but oh my god i actually feel like i have to lie down and go for a nap now because i i'm in like a food coma that's literally me i'm about six weeks on, or six months on i meant to say oh my god 
I feel pregnant. I feel food pregnant. I actually had to take my belt out while I edit. And it popped open. The button popped open. <laughs> I am truly a fat bitch. Okay, well, my mom's on some, like, psycho diet. I have, It's called, like, ketosis or something. I have no idea what it is, but, yeah, she's on this diet. And um, she actually eats more than she usually did. Which I don't get because she's meant to be on a diet. Surely you're supposed to eat less. But I have no idea. So she's making me go to the shop. But I decided I'm going to go to Marks and Spencer's in Belfast. Which is where I'm actually working at the minute. Um, yeah, I'm going to go like visit my friends. And Aaron's working so I'm going to see him while I, work, while I get my shop. And I'm also going to buy, buy myself some nice snacks. So that whenever I sit down later and I'm watching Desperate Housewives. I have like shit loads of foods. Well, I've got to um, Marks and Spencer's. But the line is so long. Like it's way down there. And like I would go to a different shop, I would just go to like Tesco's or something but I, I drove all the way to Belfast, I feel like I should just wait it out but I don't really want to get out of the car so I'm just going to sit here for like an hour and see if it goes down and usually between like 7 and 8, which what time is it now? It's 10 to 7, usually between 7 and 8 like there's no line so hopefully it goes down and then I'll go in. Quite a lot of stuff to get as well so. My phone is also on 9% so like it's not even like I can sit on my phone and wait like I have to charge as well because the list is on it. So like I'm just sitting here and like sitting off my camera's gonna die as well and then I can't talk to you guys either. So I am literally sat listening to the radio. I don't think I've ever listened to the radio in my car. It's like something you did like in the olden days. So I decided while I wait I am gonna phone Emma. This is Emma. <laughs> Emma say hi. <laughs> She's scundered. Okay, so I just got out. Oh my god, I thought I lost my phone. <laughs> it is 20 to 9. I literally went in there at like 7 and it's 20 to 9 and I'm running out. I got so much though. So, um, a few things for myself as well. Like, not really like anything. I'll show you this whenever I'm home. But yeah, I saw Aaron too, but I forgot my camera. I left it in the car, so I didn't even get to film him. But he wasn't much crack anyway. <laughs> okay, I am just back from Marcy's 100 hours later. I didn't really get that much. Okay, maybe I did. I, I got like some fruit, right? Because see, last night I was sitting and I was so hungry and I just wanted to be snack and like, but I didn't want like crisps or anything because that's all I eat at the minute. So I was like, I really want fruit. So I text my mom. I haven't had fruit from when I moved in here. And like, I text my mom and was like, can you please give me over a bowl of fruit? And I sat and she only had strawberries and oranges and I just sat and ate fruit and it was so nice. But like, I really want like melon and like grapes and stuff. So I bought this so that I can like you know be healthy and snack on healthy things i also bought a little like this salty wee snack like some prawns with like the wee sauce what do you call it i have no idea what you call it it's just like the cocktail sauce <laughs> i don't know um i bought these chocolate bars which aaron suggested i got whenever i was in there because he apparently really got them these are like my favorite biscuits in the whole entire world um i got some ham um this this like really like appealed to me like i've never used it but it looks really nice and um, i don't even know what like the flavor not flavor <laughs> it's body wash i don't know even know what i'm trying to say my camera's flashing red here so it might die if it does then i'll just cry and then i got two packets of crisps and a bottle of coke and that's literally all i got i got everything from mom like she got like a food shop so that's all i really went to get okay well i am now in my jammies aka Aaron's huge hoodie um and I'm just gonna start watching Desperate Housewives and then literally probably gonna watch this it's now 10 past 9 I'm so out of breath all I did was walk up the stairs but yeah I'm probably just gonna do that until literally like 12 and then I'll get up and I'll take my makeup off and I'll use my nighttime um toothpaste and then I'm literally gonna get back into bed and watch Desperate Housewives probably until like half three four and then I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'm gonna wake up at three again so yeah, basically that's all I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. And I actually hope it's long enough because I don't, I can't really think of what I did today. I'm actually exhausted though. Like I, I feel like I did quite a lot. You sort of probably sitting there like, Kitty, you did absolutely nothing. This was really boring, but like, I tried. Yeah, so that was just pretty much a wee day in the life of me during lockdown. Um, plus walking my dog because that's not really a normal day in the life. I've never done that before in my life, but. Yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed. Um, I actually had a lot of fun filming it and I, let me know. I keep it up Instagram to say like what videos do you want to see. So if you would like any like specific videos, let me know. Like even just DM me or comment or anything. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully get back to you very soon with another video.